Okay, we're going to use this video to document this magnificent, monumental, heavily carved, black forest musical trumpeter clock. This is a very large clock. It's a four foot example, 48 inches in height. That measurement's taken from the ferns on the bottom of the case, all the way up to the wings on the eagle on the pediment. So it doesn't include the weights, the chains, or the pendulum. And this clock is 27 inches uh, across the base, which is its widest point. See the carving is just exquisite. The base is uh, covered with leaves and rocks and grasses, ferns and mushrooms. Very deep, heavy carving. And up from that you have a romantic uh, motif of a family of deer, the buck to the left the doe and the fawn to the right. And they are gathered around that uh, double door opening. Also unusual that the opening for the trumpeter and the music are below the dial, not above. So this is similar uh, to the style made by Emilian Beerley. And this case style is also uh, exactly the same motif uh, used by Emilian in uh, one of his trumpeter clocks. Big large pine trees up the sides with oak leaves. You got rock decoration on the uh, log house around the trumpeter door opening. Large dial with original bone hands. And a magnificent uh, forward leaf eagle at the pediment with his wings outstretched. And this is a very unusual clock. Uh, it doesn't follow the normal a variation of a trumpeter clock. It's a three weight quarter uh, example, a quarter striking example. Every 15 minutes, the double doors open. You can see an original trumpeter figure appears, and he calls the quarter hours on three horns. So at 15 minutes after, you get a three note call. Half an hour after, uh, you get six notes. Three quarters after is nine, and at the top of the hour, all four quarters are called on 12 notes. At the top of the hour, uh, following the hour call, the next double set of doors open. And there's an original seated musical figure. It's a man holding a zither. Uh, appears as the music box plays. This is a very large uh, music box, which plays four tunes that automatically rotate through. And we'd like to set the clock off so you can see it in action. So three calls, that's three quarters after. Top of the hour, you'll get all four quarters uh, followed by music. Nice original pendulum chains. Like I said, both figures are original. Original horns and bellows. Uh, even the original leather is on the bellow tops. This is a magnificent example. Uh, we acquired this clock from a uh, clock museum in the United Kingdom that has one of the most uh, comprehensive collections of Black Forest clocks in the world. And it's been in our private collection here for uh, about eight years. The clock also has manual activation levers on the bottom. So by reaching under the bottom of the case and pulling the lever, uh, you can manually advance both the trumpet or call. Uh, and also the music box as well. Great music, great tunes. It's just a great example of a monumental Black Forest trumpeter clock. 
uh, also with the music box. Uh, this clock can be seen in the book Rare and Unusual Black Forest Clocks. It has a detailed overview of this clock. It was made by Gordian Hedek's son in Fertrog in Germany. And it's one of the most magnificent examples of a trumpeter clock that we've ever seen made by this firm. So it has a large monumental case, three horns, quarter hour trumpet call, and a large four tune music box. For more information on this clock or other rare and unusual Black Forest clocks, you can visit our website which is blackforestclocks.org. We're always interested in meeting uh, other collectors and people who share our passion for Black Forest Horology.